Hello everybody. So today I want to show you how to find the range multipliers. So in this one, we need to set up like this. The first thing that is about G S Y Z. That is about this one minus five hundred and two. And now we have three equations in here. So that should be like this. So we need to do first the derivative of f in terms of s equals to lambda. And uh, we have g. And that means we need to do first the derivative of g in terms of s. Now we can do similar for y and z. So first the derivative of f in terms of s we have number one. So this one you got number nine. This one that is about two s. So number two and number two we have number four. Similar for y. Uh, this is one here. And this is about 8y. This is about 2z. This is about number 2. Now, we divide both sides by 4 lambda, 8 lambda, number 2 lambda. So we have like this. Eighteen divided by number eight, that is about nine over number four. This is about number one. So we put s y z go to this one in here. So, we need to simplify this one and we have like this. So, we have 251 over number 8 lambda square. So, this one we find about the value of lambda square that is about number 8 going here. Oh, sorry, 502 go to the left. So, that should be like this. So this is about number 1 over 16. And now we put the square root for the both side. So that is about lambda equals to 1 over 4 and lambda equals to negative 1 over 4. After you got 1 over 4 and negative 1 over 4, we can find the value of x, y, z. So for the first one, and the second one, so this one we have number one, so you got number nine. This one, number 9. This one, number 4. This one, negative number 9. This one, we have negative number 9 and negative number 4. After you got S, Y, Z, we can put this one, go back to here. So this one, that is about like this. So, oh sorry, this one in here. 
this one we put the value of x y z go in here so we have the final answer in here and this one you do the same And this is about the maximum. This is about minimum. This is the end.